Satnam, I'm Nirvana Singh Khalsa and welcome to 2016. I just love this time of year. Look at how beautiful it is to welcome in the new year. We start with we start with winter solstice, which is such a wonderful deep time. And you carry that energy of the the deepness, the meditative quality into the new year so you can set your intention for the new year and have an amazing year. 2016 in numerology, of course, adds up to nine, which is the subtle body, which is an ending of things as well. And so you can expect this year for things to actually shift, things to go out and things to come in. It's actually a really wonderful opportunity to actually bring yourself to a whole new state of being. Now this one thing that really does help you with developing this ability to actually be comfortable and to be engaged in this renewal process of, of having things end and having new things begin is to stay very steady in yourself. We're going to do a, a Kriya today that came from 1978 and I'd really like you to look this up in the Library of Teachings because this we, what we've done is we've taken as many as we can find so far and we have a few hundred of them historical notes of people that actually took notes during the class when it was taught and then wrote them up in Kriya form and so that's attached to this Kriya that we're doing today and so you can kind of see what we were working with way back in 1978 when we didn't have the library of teachings or we weren't able to attend class. And so uh, you can look at the notes for this and you can see exactly how this, this Kriya is practiced. It's also great to really read the lecture and listen to the lecture as well. Yogi Bhajan talked about in this lecture reliance and being reliable and just the various facets of what that actually means. All your social relationships are, are actually built on the fact that you're a reliable person, that someone can really count on you. And with that reliance you build trust. I know at the beginning of every year we talk a little bit about prosperity, but he said this is the key to richness, the richness of your entire environment if you can be reliable, if you can be relied on, if you can build that trust, it brings a tremendous amount of richness into your life. And especially for a spiritual person, what it does is their reliance becomes on the infinite, on God itself. And that reliance, if you develop that ability to trust the universe, to trust your own infinity, just creates all the richness that you could imagine. And so this Kriya will actually play in this video Yogi Bhajan giving the, the actual rhythm and the sound of the mantra. In those very early days, we didn't have all this beautiful music that you find in, in 3HO right now. We mostly chanted in an acapella form, or if there's a musician there with a guitar, They'd play a few chords, but we'd chant in a cappella in a monotone. And so you'll actually hear Yogi Bhajan uh, demonstrating this, uh, how to chant this mantra just right now. This is how it sounds. And so it's four hads, had, 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 hari, hari. And you can see that he chants it really fast. And so it's almost like taking singing breaths, right? Because it just doesn't stop. Now the mudra to this is very specific. You're going to have the left hand up by the side so that it's about at ear level. And you're going to take the right hand and make it very flat. He really emphasized it being flat. And you're going to hold this up at the throat level. You'll see in the, the picture, <laughs> the early drawing of this, that someone had a little bit low but this is where it is, it's up at throat level. Eyes are going to be about one-tenth open, nine-tenths closed, and then you'll chant the mantra. Hara 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 hari hari 
And we'll do that for 11 minutes. And uh, so this is a great opportunity, I think, to build that trust in yourself, to build that trust in the infinity of you, and to get through these times of these endings and this resetting that's happening during 2016 by making yourself a reliable person. And the person that you need to be reliable and that you need to trust the most, of course, is your own self. When you make a commitment, keep it. When you say you're going to do it, do it. Let's practice this this year so we can have that reliance and we can have that experience of the self that allows us to have all the richness that we need in our environments, in our in our relationships and everything that surrounds you as being people of the spirit and people that rely on their own infinity. So I'll be doing with this you for the first 40 days. I hope you also can do the sadhana that's being promoted by all the nonprofits, 3HO, SikhNet, Sikh Dharma, Midi Pity Academy, Spirit Voyage, and Sanatum of doing uh, 40 days of Japji. So do your Japjis and also do this Kriya. So happy 2016. Satnam. So, no.